Hey, I'm B, and I'm quarantined, and you probably are too. So here's a what I eat in a day and what I do when I'm stuck inside the house. I thought we could hang out before the world ends. You know, gal pal, walnuts friends, nuts in a bag. Here we are. So I figured out there's three types of people on doomsday. The toilet paper hoarders who think coronavirus gives you diarrhea and can't bear the thought of washing their pastel pink buttholes with water, whoa. The Clorox wipe disinfectors like Karen, I know you spent your college years deep throating an entire frat house and peeing in bathrooms that have never seen disinfectant, so please stop and leave some for the immunocompromised and the elderly. And finally, the third category, I'd like to call the French infectors who don't believe in coronavirus and would like to spend their final days inhaling Marlboro Reds at an overpriced French cafe that smells like moldy cheese in their socks. Oh, it is such a je magnifique day. I'm so happy we could all be outside together. But today you are not spending a day with any of these people. You are spending the day with the walnuts who did the absolute bare minimum. She has three packs of pasta, two mini hand sanitizers, and one pack of toilet paper. But she's a little wall nuts, so I think she'll survive. So I start my day by letting in the sunshine. I was told by my doctor to get more vitamin D and I've been trying to extract it from my thick daddy, but it hasn't been working. So today I'm staring directly into the sun and hoping my cornea is burned so I don't have to stare at myself in the mirror anymore. I make a pot of fresh mountain herb tea and it looks like my teapot is sweating. She's a little shy. And I put away my dishes because I'm a productive hoe. Hello, walnutters. I come to you from apparently doomsday because everything is kind of shut down now. Schools, universities, all large gatherings, every Thing, but non-essential things are shut down in Bulgaria, which is where I am. I made a TikTok a few days ago when coronavirus was still kind of a joke <laughs> and it was about me like progressively getting more and more freaked out. Well, today when we were driving on the streets and we heard the news that all the shops were gonna be closing and we heard people rushing to shops, honking their horns and like running to buy extra extra supplies I was like wow I thought it might be fun to show you guys what I've prepared for a quarantine so you could all laugh because I do not have enough supplies I did not overstock I only have a couple rolls of toilet paper so no I will not have a dirty ass I will rinse my ass in the shower with water and soap oh god forbid okay friends let's venture into my kitchen because I love looking at other people's kitchens so I'm sure like someone's interested in this so this thing is the air conditioner for the stove because I think the stove gets too hot and it needs air conditioning obviously Obviously. but let me show you the supplies I got because this is pretty much it so I don't know what you were expecting I don't have a stockpile I don't have a coupon or room this is all I have so this better last here I have like one loaf of bread um, one pack of rice one pack of quinoa four packs of pasta they were cheap and there was a lot of them and then I have two pasta sauces so you know I hope that lasts for my four packs of pasta I have another bag of pasta right here. Some buckwheat. This is like already open. This was already in here. I also have these. They're called gluten so you can just put them on bread or kind of like any food and it just magically becomes yummy. Bam. I also got raspberry jam and tahini because you could put that on oatmeal and then boom, you have like a whole ass meal. And then uh, lemon juice to squirt in my eyes. Because if you haven't heard, people are saying that butt chugging industrial bleach will help you get rid of coronavirus. So I'm sure squirting juice in eyeballs is next. So I got a little chocolate for moral support, a can of corn some pretzels and then a fuck ton of rice paper because I just wrap everything in rice paper and then boom dip it in soy sauce and there you go a meal like a cooked iconic revolutionary apple this is the good stuff let me show you the good stuff I got gluten-free brownies because even in the age of uh, quarantine we cannot eat gluten <laughs> basically all I have for our quarantine so I hope we um, aren't in here very long I didn't want to like get things I didn't think we would need just because I don't want to like use up supplies for other people because I feel like walking into an empty store is more psychologically damaging than like getting a few things and just praying that it'll go away in three weeks. But in terms of my fridge, okay, I didn't clean it before I'm showing it to you guys. I feel like everyone else does and I'm just like, oh, okay, let's see. Okay. Oh, not bad. Okay, thank God. I was like, ah, I don't know what's in here. So a bunch of tofu because I don't cook meat at home anymore. I eat tofu and cheese instead because I got really bad food poisoning a few weeks ago from pork and cabbage. So now I just don't really feel like eating meat anymore. So haven't eaten meat since then. So basically all you had to do was food poison me with pork so I'm thinking we should food poison other people to get them to join our vegetarian slash vegan cause <laughs> so these are like ice cream and yogurt bowls regular bowls and soup bowls um trichophobia inducing cups <laughs> and then here I have like little egg cups coffee cups these are really cute I love the little wave pattern and then I've got like the bubble ones and one of them broke 
while it was getting here. So I only have one pink bubble. And then the rest are from Ikea that I had in England. I'm sure you guys saw these. And then my grandma gave me these, uh, which I really like because they are like rose gold, orange metallic coffee cup and then I have the weird drawer of like nuts and like buckwheat <laughs> I don't know I don't want to talk about it I suppose I should address the random herbs in a jar um, my grandpa gave these to me he picked them in the mountains they are just tea so we'll actually make some right now how cute Nick likes to go to the bakery down the street and get himself a bonita or a spinacopita I think this is spinacopita yeah yeah and then a red bull because he's gaming on twitch.com slash your wet sock we're very professional in the walnut household <laughs> another thing that I thought would be fun while we're quarantined is to like like kind of just online shop or like online browse you don't even have to buy anything but I really have been enjoying looking at like interior design blogs I found this wavy mirror that I really want for my house and also this like popcorn side if you guys see like something you think I would like like interior design nails clothes decoration feel free to tag me on Instagram like I love talking to you guys like on Instagram so it's just at Blair Walnuts whenever you want to say hi after making some mountain tea it was time to make my favorite breakfast white stuff in a jar <laughs> this is actually sheep's milk yogurt i tell you guys about it in every video so if you don't know that i eat yogurt you're probably new here welcome don't forget to subscribe down below i slice up the strawberries try not to cut my finger even though you guys think i will inevitably do it soon is it today is it gonna be tomorrow i don't know stay to find out next time on the walnuts i put it in this cute little ice cream bowl i got from zara home um nick actually used it for beer the other day because i did not get beer or wine or shot glasses because I'm a really good housewife. And then I make it all aesthetic and pretty so we could take cute Instagram story pictures because I'm a professional Instagrammer. I'm just kidding. I pour in some of my sweaty, shy tea and this is a breakfast that I absolutely love and adore. Let me know what you guys are having for breakfast nowadays and some things you can make at home. This is gonna change really soon as soon as I run out of fruit because I'm not gonna go to the store to buy more probably. Nonetheless, I sat on the computer, searched up some fun stuff to do and look at like walnut porn and then I moved on. Then I wanted to address some exercise. Um, obviously you can't go to the gym because that's a really crowded place But Bulgaria is letting us go out in the nature as long as we don't all clump together and congregate So we are all allowed to separately walk in the nature, okay separately not together. So this is that So during this fun little quarantine We're not supposed to go to the gym because that's an area where we congregate. So instead we're gonna go climb a mountain the thing is it's snowing outside in the mountains, so we gotta put on our snow clothes. I will take you guys with me to the mountain, but I will take you only on my phone. I literally just came here to get fresh air and make cringy TikToks. Look at my face. Another fun workout thing you can do is do a homework. This week I'm trying Tammy Hembrow's home workout and that's gonna be the video I post on Thursday for you guys. I post every Tuesday and Thursday now. I will give you a spoiler for this workout. It is unbelievably and unreasonably boring. You just do 20 reps of very basic exercises and I cannot tell you how sleepy this makes me. Look at my face. I'm just like not really having it, but any kind of exercise is good. Ex Hi friends. In an effort to not die from boredom, I will now show you my new favorite makeup bits because I thought we could all use a fun little distraction as if any of us are wearing makeup during a quarantine. <laughs> I have a t-shirt on with tuna fish stains on it, so... Disgusting. <laughs> okay, let's pretend we're glamorous people. I'll show you the fun new things I got. So the first cool new thing I got is this Natasha Denona palette. It's the mini star palette and it comes with five really beautiful, gorgeous shades you can use during the apocalypse. This is called Zombie Eater. I have no food left to eat, so I eat Dirt Eater. Sparkly and numb the pain. Brown, like my diarrhea that I need toilet paper for. And finally, gold, like all the money the billionaires are hoarding right now and not using to make vaccines with. <laughs> This, I'm literally kidding. Just call me walnuts. Okay, look at this. Okay, so imagine this is your eyeball. Boom. Okay. Did anyone think that was going to come out brown? Look at it in the pan and then look at it. Oh, it's duochrome. I learned that word from Christine. Another really fun piece of makeup I got recently is this Dior Lip Maximizer in 1009. It is the perfect bluey pink color. Just listen to this. It's the sound of my pussy before I get turned on. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> oh, this Ciate eyeliner I got in the FabFitFun box can totally get it. It makes the perfectest cat eye, like super easy. Like look, I can probably draw a wing with my broken ass wrist. Okay, powder, really good. I got this when I was like applying to be in James Charles's 
makeup competition. Um, obviously, I did really good, and I was obviously in his show. Oh, another really fun thing I have is this from Chanel. It's in the color Purupe Profound. It reminds me of like potpourri or like something, but it's this nice eggplanty plum color. It's so, oh, don't tell me it's dry. <gasps> oh, fuck. Oh, look at that. Oof, does anyone know how I can fix that? Because right now this looks really like not cute. Oh, hmm. okay. This Lange lip mask in the pear flavor, absolutely delicious. I also know they have a coconut mint kind that is probably also really yummy. I don't really have a lot of makeup. Like you guys have seen all of this before. Quarantine look. Don't lie and tell me you don't look like this during the quarantine. I know we all look like this right now. <sighs> do, 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 do. I'm loving it. Hand sanitize your brush. If you don't have any hand sanitizer, take it up with a guy that has 17,000 packs of it. Why is this part important? Well, my makeup brushes, they live in my bathroom. You know what else happens in my bathroom? <laughs> so I'm thinking, I heard it could spray up to seven feet. So right now it's really crucial for us to disinfect everything. We're gonna squirt two squirts. Feel free to use up your foundation because the world is ending anyway. So you might as well use what you got. Don't worry about it looking too neat. No one will see it since you're probably staying inside anyway. Are you wondering why my hand is bandaged? Well, let me tell you a little story time. My hand's been hurting. It's actually been on fire lately. I looked at my symptoms and it's either carpal tunnel or diabetes. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't wanna burden the healthcare system with my nonsense right now. So I'm not going to the doctor because I know they're too busy with coronavirus. So I guess we won't know for a few weeks, but basically it really hurts. And then yesterday I think I slept wrong and I woke up with both my arms literally numb. Like I could not feel them. They were like dead weight and they were limp in front of me. And I saw them and I started crying because I thought I got paralyzed. And I was like, oh no, Nick just got me Russian ice cream. This Russian ice cream is the greatest thing I've ever tasted. Russians make their ice cream not very sweet and not very flavorful. So it tastes like frozen whipped cream, but on the inside there's this like sour raspberry jam that like adds a little kick of flavor. It's really good. And they don't put too much ice cream, it's just like a little. Very communist. <laughs> I might try this Jeffree Star liquid lipstick on my lids. Might be fun. Could be cute, could also be really weird. It reminds me of a strawberry milkshake. If you didn't expect this from me, you must be new here. Things get wild when I try to do makeup. I don't know why I have literally zero talent when it comes to makeup. Then I filmed my ear and that was a look. That's it. You're welcome. I just realized I did my makeup for 30 minutes just so I could go do laundry in the other room. One good thing about this quarantine is I've been getting a lot of laundry done. So if there is a zombie apocalypse, at least my clothes will smell like flowers. And they'll be clean, surprisingly. This is spring rolls. Basically, you can shove any kind of vegetable into this rice paper wrap and ta-da, you have an official meal. Don't forget the sauce. It's the most important part. I'll show you guys how to make that later. But first, you have to peel and slice every vegetable, which literally takes 27 years. But since we're quarantined, we have time for this. I don't know when else I would have time for this besides during a quarantine. But, you know, peel and chop, chop, chop. Um, let me tell you a secret about rice paper rolls. You got to make them white. You have to foreplay them, give them a little mm-mm and then they will actually wrap around for you. If you don't get them wet, they're actually hard like plastic, so they will snap and break. Finally, it's time for the sauce, the most important part. What goes in the sauce is minimal ingredients because I'm a lazy ass bitch and I don't have 27 things at my house. So it's just soy sauce, peanuts or peanut butter, ginger and garlic, and that's it. That's it, that's the whole sauce. I immersed and blended it and th there we go, ta-da. Okay, so these are my enchilada slash spring rolls. They have a veggies inside on rice paper sheets. I mean, not great, but not, not just not. After that, it was time to show you the mess this made in my kitchen. I, I feel like a lot of YouTubers just completely ignore the mess part. What, what, what do they do with it? Do they have maids that come and clean up after their videos? Do they just ignore it? Do they pretend that they didn't make a mess? And then I thought it would be fun to do a little house tour. Look at this mess in my house. I have a lamp without a light bulb. I also have a shoe closet. You guys all want to sniff through the screen. I bet you want to sniff my shoe. Oh God, what the fuck? Um, these are all my shoes and I wanted to show you my really uber sexy mountain shoes. This is what I mountain climb in because I'm a mountaineer. I'm shy, but I climb mountains.
So the tuna pasta is literally just four or five ingredients and probably what I'm gonna be eating during the rest of the quarantine. The vegetables was just me trying to use up the vegetables I had before they went bad, but this is probably something that I'm gonna eat for the next two weeks. Uh, I talked a lot of shit about tuna pasta before, especially in the Honey Boo Boo video because I didn't get it, but now I get it. I didn't film myself making it because I was thinking tomorrow I could do an Instagram live and we can all watch how I make it and I could talk to you guys at the same time. I thought that'd be fun. So my Instagram is just at Blair Wallace. Let me know what you're eating during the quarantine. Pasta gang, where are you at guys?